offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within.
She's the lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's the most beautiful girl in town. I know, but don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do. Right from right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous, and I fell. Pure town, there's only she who is beautiful as me. So I'm making plans to woo and marry them. Look there! He knows! Isn't he dreamy? Mister, get that out of here! He's out of my heart! I'm hardly dreaming! Gorillas! 
stop, stop it, I say. I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen. But she... Oh, Monsieur, your children are born. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Oh, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Well, what do we have here? Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, is this a man? <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Right, this has gone on long enough. Coming through. <laughs> How would you like a nice spot of tea, sir? It will warm you up in no time. Oh, yes, please. Ah. Oh! I think I scared him, Mama. Oh, hey there, little fellow. What's your name? Chip. Can I borrow warm blankets, monsieur? We've got to get him out of here. Do you have any idea what the master will do if he finds out you're the stranger? Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master will never have to know. There's a stranger here! Master, allow me to explain! Who let him in? Master, may I take this opportunity to say? You I was against it from the start. You have all betrayed me. Oh dear. And who are you? Oh, Maurice. What are you doing in my castle? I, I lost my way in the woods. You're not welcome here. I'm sorry, I'll just be on my way. It's hideous, isn't it? You come to stare at the beast, have you? No, 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 I meant no harm. I was really looking for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. Go 
Oh, is that you? Oh, Papa! How did you find me? Your hands are like ice. Who has done this to you? No, you must leave this place. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I do not take orders from anyone. Now get out. Wait, please, forgive me. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. There is nothing you can do. Wait. Take me instead. No, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that? You would take his place. If I did, would you let him go? Yes. But you must promise to stay here forever. No. Come into the light. Bill, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Take him to the village. Wait, no, not yet. Papa! Let go of me. Let go of me. Bill! I'll never get to see him again. And I didn't even get to say goodbye. Master Bill, since the girl will be staying with us for quite some time, you may want to offer her a more comfortable room. Uh, I'll show you to your room now. You follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in the West Wing? It's forbidden. You are never to set foot there. Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. If you need anything, my servants will attend you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request.
something like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit brighter. But your, your, Mrs. Potts, dear, please make your acquaintance. Oh, careful, darling. Who are you? Madame de la Grande Bouche. Wait, this is impossible. Well, now, what shall we dress you in for dinner? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. Uh, that's very kind of you, but I'm not going to dinner. Well, of course you are. Well, you heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he's not mine. I'm sorry, this is just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm gonna miss my papa so much. Oh, cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. Who does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime. I know. 
When that black heel through Israel's father, and his sanity is only so so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to well, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If I yes, then we no, but she. Get around me. 
people complaining while the flat was entertaining. Please help Joey. Once, 
she went to the beast, this horrible creature, who saved her life. She could not leave. Belle approached the beast and helped him to his feet. Then, Belle and the beast slowly made their way back to the castle.
you when you're older. <laughs> Arthur drew forth the sword and... So that must mean that he's the king. Wait and see. I never knew books could do that. Do what? Take me away from this place and make me forget for a little while. Forget? Who I am. What I am. We have something in common, you know. What? In the town where I come from, people think I'm odd. You? So I know how it feels to be... Different. And I know how lonely that can be. Yes, and so far he's been a perfect gentleman. Mama, I have a funny feeling inside. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of bubbly. It's hope, son. I feel it too. Oh, we, my little friend, it's the day we have been waiting for may be at hand. If only that were true, Lumiere. Oh, human again. Human again. I'll be cooking again, be good looking again, with some mademoiselle on each arm. When I'm human again, only human again, poised and polished and gleaming with charm. I'll be cooking again, big and shorting again, with your constable husband's amour. I'll move down off this shelf and to the sweet me myself. Chance. I, 
I, I really, really don't think I can do this. You can do it. I know you can. Good afternoon. Monsieur Doc. I've come to collect your father. What? Do not worry. We'll take good care of him. 
My father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic about a beast. We all heard him, didn't we? Yeah! yeah. Poor Bell. It's a shame about your father. Yes, son, you know he's not crazy. I might be able to clear up this little misunderstanding if... If what? If you'll marry me. What? One little word, Bell. That's all it takes. Never. Fine, have it your way. Take the old man! Wait, uh, I can prove he's not crazy. Show me the beast! That's him! That's him! Oh, no, he'd never hurt anyone. I know he looks frightful, but he's really kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know any better, I'd see him. I'd say you had the feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, guy, son. You are. <gasps> <laughs> She's as crazy as the old man. She says his creatures are fright. Well, I've hunted wild beasts and I've seen what they can do. The beasts will make off with the children. He'll come back to them at night. He would never do that. <laughs> Forget the old man. I say we kill the beast. Yeah! Take the telly dead. He'll come stalking us at night. Said to sacrifice our children to his martial sacrifice. Pure coward gone up villain.
only I'd come sooner. Maybe it's better this way. No, it's better now, you'll see. At least I got to see you. We are home. We are where we shall be. Thank <laughs> you. 